my boat bakers. Applesauce is a really common ingredient in our baking and is often used to replace eggs. However, it is not widely available. That's why I'm gonna show you how you can make your own at home. We're gonna start out in a large saucepan. Now the best thing about this recipe is that you can use any apple at all. They all will work. So in they go into the saucepan. Now this is really easy. All we're going to add in is some water to help them stew and some sugar for sweetness. And then just give it a quick mix around. Now all you want to do is put on a lid, turn on the heat and let this mix come to a simmer. So once you see your mix is simmering, we are going to turn the heat down really low and let it gently bubble away for roughly around 20 to 25 minutes or until the apple is really tender and soft. It's been 20 minutes, so let's check in on our apples. Oh, these are looking perfect. Do you see the way how they've gone opaque and they've kind of puffed up a good bit? This means that they're nice and soft, look at that. So we're gonna turn off the heat altogether. And now I have an immersion blender. Now you can also use a potato masher. That will work really well too because the apples are so soft. And all we're going to do is just put this into our pot and blend it up until our apples are lovely and pureed. Now, if you want to add a little bit of extra flavor to your apples, you can add in vanilla, cinnamon, whatever you like to jazz it up a little bit. Once you've blended your apples, this is what it should look like, really fine puree. Now this is great for a low fat dessert. You can have it with yogurt, you can even put it in smoothies. And like I said, it works really well as a substitute for eggs in recipes. You can store this in your fridge for up to two weeks and it even freezes really well. For lots more bold baking basics videos, just like this one, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out all of my other videos.